friends welcome back to our channel english with sanjana in today's video i am going to help you with science lesson 7 wonders of the living world lately we have been talking about the most important information and facts on wonders of the living world this is my seventh and last video on wonders of the living world if you haven't watched my previous videos, you may watch the first. You can use the above link. Friends, are you ready? If you are ready, we can start the lesson. Beautifully and creatively illustrated wonders of the living world will inspire curiosity and amazement and prove a fascinating guide to your thinking about the meaning of life. In my first video, we discussed all about living things and non-living things and their characteristics. In my second video, we focused on living organisms, plants, animals and microorganisms. In my third video, we paid our attention on movement. In my fourth video, we did all about respiration. In my fifth video, important information on reproduction. My sixth video spoke about diversity of animals. And in this video, we will be looking at dichotomous keys. A dichotomous key is a tool that allows the user to determine the identity of items. In the natural world, such as trees, white flowers, mammals, reptiles, and fish. Dichotomous means divided into two parts. What is the most important use of the dichotomous keys? They are used to classify and identify the organisms. We can use a dichotomous key to categorize organisms into different classes using the presence or absence of external features or characteristic features. Look at this picture here. Animals can be divided into two categories. Some animals which walk on four legs. Some animals which walk on two legs. Some animals have wings and they can fly. And some animals have wings but they can't fly. Now let's look at some dichotomous keys. You can see here there are five types of leaves. These five leaves can be divided into two categories based on whether they have leaflets or not. First category, leaves with leaflets and the second category, leaves without leaflets. We can categorize these two leaves with leaflets. Under leaves with leaflets category and the other three types of leaves can go under leaves without leaflets category. The leaves with leaflets can again be divided into two categories based on the place at which leaflets are divided. Whether leaflets are divided at one place and the next category, the leaflets are divided at different places. Now let's look at leaves without leaflets. Under that category, there are three leaves. Then the first classification is done based on whether they have a pointed tip or whether they don't have a pointed tip. Then the leaf with the pointed tip goes under leaves with a pointed tip category. And the other two leaves go under leaves without a pointed tip category. There are two leaves and the leaves without a pointed tip category. They can also be categorized into two classes according 
to the types of blade that they have. One leaf goes under leaves without wavy blades and the other leaf goes under leaves with wavy blades. That is how we can classify the above leaves using a darker thermos key. Now let's move on to another classification of animals. There are six animals here. They are parrot, earthworm, dog, centipede, deer and crow. These animals can be divided into two categories. First category, animals with four legs. And the second category, animals without four legs. Dog and deer are the animals which can be categorized under animals with four legs. Parrot, earthworm, centipede and crow can go under animals without four legs category. Out of dog and deer, deer has antlers so it can be categorized under the animals with antlers. Dog has no antlers so it goes under animals without antlers. Out of parrot, earthworm, centipede and crow. Some animals have wings, others don't have. Crow and parrot can go under the animals with wings. Earthworm and centipede can go under animals without wings. Out of crow and parrot, parrot has a curved beak. But a crow doesn't have a curved beak. So a parrot can be put under the animals with a curved beak and the crow can be put under the animals without a curved beak. Now the last category out of earthworm and the centipede. Centipede goes under the animals with legs and the earthworm goes under the animals without legs. That is all about diacrithomus keys. Let's move on to some activities. First activity. Select the most suitable answer. Question number one. A characteristic that is not common to all living organisms. There are four choices. They are respiration, photosynthesis, growth and reproduction. Out of them, which one is the correct answer? Now pause the video and write the answer. The answer is photosynthesis. Question number two. The process that creates energy in organisms is called, is it called growth, reproduction, nutrition or respiration? The correct answer is respiration. Question number three. The chemical that can be used to identify carbon dioxide in the laboratory is first option Candice second lime water third water and coconut oil the chemical that we need to test carbon dioxide in the laboratory is lime water question number four the gas emitted during the process of photosynthesis is Options are oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen or hydrogen. The answer is oxygen. Question number five. The most suitable equipment to observe the microorganisms in water is 
The answer is compound microscope. Second activity, select the most suitable word and fill in the blanks. The energy needed for photosynthesis is supplied by sun. Second question. There isn't a limit of growth within plants. Third question. Most of the animals are heterotrophic. Fourth question. A characteristic which can be seen in animals but cannot be seen in most plants is locomotion. Fifth question. An essential requirement for photosynthesis is carbon dioxide. Third activity. Use a dichotomous key to classify the given plants. They are grass, mango, guava, hibiscus and coconut. We can divide these five plants into two categories based on whether the plants produce fruits or not. Guava, mango, coconut can be categorized under trees that produce fruits. Hibiscus and grass can be categorized under trees that don't produce fruits. Hibiscus and grass can again be divided into two categories. Hibiscus under the plants that produce flowers. Grass can go under plants that don't produce flowers. Guava, mango, coconut can be divided into two categories. Mango and guava under fruits with seeds. Coconut under fruits without seeds. Mango and guava can be categorized into two categories mango under fruits with one seed guava under fruits with many seeds fourth activity use a dichotomous key to classify the given animals the animals are cat butterfly cock cow rattlesnake and leech there are six animals they can be divided into two categories based on animals which have legs and animals which don't have legs. We can categorize cat, butterfly, cow and cock under animals which have legs. That is snake and leech can go under the category of animals which don't have legs. Out of rattlesnake and leech, rattlesnake can be categorized under animal which swallows food. Leech can be categorized under the animal which sucks food. Cat, butterfly, cow and cock can be categorized under animal without wings. An animal with wings cat and cow under animals without wings butterfly and cock under animals with wings cock goes under the animal which has two legs butterfly can go under the animal which has six legs out of cow and cat cow is a herbivorous animal cat is an omnivorous animal that's all for the lesson on Dichotomous Key. And we have come to the end of Unit 1, Wonders of the Living World. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you understood the lesson. If you watch all the lessons I have done so far, you will be able to grasp a better understanding on Wonders of the Living World. If you find all my videos useful and interesting, subscribe to our channel. Share the videos with your friends. Don't forget to alarm 
the notification bell. Then you know when the next lesson is ready. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.